All right, 6.5 vectors in 2 space and 3 space. Vectors can be represented both algebraically and geometrically. Algebraically, we write vectors and points a little bit differently so that you can distinguish the two. Points, we use round brackets to represent coordinates. All right, now vectors, we use square brackets. And these square brackets represent the components of a vector. Knowing this, we have to remember that sometimes textbooks use round brackets with arrows on the top, like such, or they write the letters A, B and put a vector on top and it equals and it looks like it equals a coordinate, but that's actually the components of it because of the way it's written. All right, on to some other information. Points are, are unique, but vectors are not. Position vectors have their initial point at 0, 0. And in R2, x, y, the vector x, y, the x component moves right if it's positive, left if it's negative, and y component moves up if it's positive, down if it's negative. So we're used to this. Now R3 is a little bit different. In R3, we have the components x, y, and z. x component moves forward if it's positive, backward if it's negative. The y component moves right if it's positive, left if it's negative, and the z component moves up if it's positive, down if it's negative. So a little bit different in three space compared to two space. So just remember the following, the left hand rule. You take your three fingers in your left hand as such, the, the uh, first three fingers. The largest finger is your X. Your second finger, your pointer finger, is Y. And your thumb is your Z. So you think about it, you learned X before you learned Y, and finally now you've learned Z. And you point your X towards you so that your X is pointing out towards you. This is your X. X. Then your Y is moving left or right, and your Z is moving up or down. So your X is moving forwards or backwards. All right, next. Another way to write it, if we're writing it just on a piece of paper, is to write it as such. Your X is coming, looking like it's coming towards you. The Y and the Z are writing, Y and Z move left or right, uh, sorry, Y moves left or right, and Z moves up or down. So when you're looking at this, you have to think X moves forwards. We write that as a diagonal. What's important though, this is the positive X, positive Y, and positive Z. What you have here is this cube here represents a unit, unit cube. And why you draw this cube is to indicate how the vector would be drawn if it was three space. The vector would go from the 0, 0, 0 point, which is the origin, out towards the end of the box. And that's what that little red arrow represents. A, from the 0, 0, 0 out to the other end of the box. So like a diagonal through the entire box to the other side. Another thing that's very important for you to note is that this little red would represent the unit vector. A unit vector okay which is uh, sorry not a unit vector but a vector where you have to understand how to draw it. and so we're going to look at two types of drawings one used the, using a piece of paper and another one using something called isometric graphs alright here's the isometric graph what you do do is to trace out a diagonal tracing out that diagonal you will have you need to pick a point to be your zero, zero, zero. One of the vertices has to be your zero, zero, zero. I'm going to pick this point. The reason I'm picking this particular point right here is because this point here will make this particular 
di uh, diamond in the positive x and positive y axis. So one more time, your x is the purple line, your y is the black line, and your z is the green line. So the x is coming towards you, y is moving left or right, and z is moving up or down. The beauty of using this type of paper is that you do not have to use a ruler to measure out the uh, sides, the x, y, and z, because they've already been measured out for you. Okay, so by drawing this square, you can see that there is a square here. The square, the, there is a top, which is the blue, bottom, which is the green, the front is the black. If you want to look at the back of it, that's the gray at the back. So that's the back of the box. All right, now, there are coordinates in each of these vertices of this particular box. For example, that pink is the zero, zero, zero coordinates. That's the origin. Now, what are the other points? Well, if we move up along the Z, that will be the zero, zero, one coordinates. If we move forwards, it'll be the one, zero, zero coordinate. And the next one, if we moved forwards and to the right, that would be the one, one, zero coordinate. The next one, will be the zero, one, zero. The reason that point is zero, one, zero, is that you ha that point is the point actually right on the axis. It's not this corner point, it's the back corner point. So it's the point that moved across here and we moved right there. That's known as the zero, one, zero. It's only moved along the Y. It did not move left or right. So note again, it moved along the Y axis. Next, you have the one, one, one point. That's this one right here. The reason it's one, one, one is you moved, for example, forwards one, up, sorry, forwards one, right one, up one, so one, one, one. Next, this point back here in the back corner is known as zero, one, one because it didn't move forwards, it moved right one, up one to get to that point. And that's known as the one, one, one vector. Now, we're missing a point here. Does anyone see what point that is? Well, hopefully, you will, you're all seeing this point right here. This point in the front corner right here is known as the coordinates. Let's look at that one. It is the coordinates moving forwards one. It is moving no left or right, so zero for no left or right. And finally, moving up one. So it's the one, zero, one point. And that looks like it's on top of the brown point, but it's actually the top corner. If you're thinking about in terms of the front, it is the front of this box. It's the top corner of this box. So again, we move forwards one. We move, did not move left or right, but we did move up. So that's the one, zero, one. All right, now let's draw it if we use blank paper. X is the diagonal. Remember that that is the one moving forwards and backwards. Y is the left or right, and Z is the up or down. Important here is that you use a ruler. You need to use a ruler on the Z, the same ruler on the X, and you have to use a ruler on the Y. Very important that you list out a scale that you're using. And in this question, we're going to draw out the point negative 2, 3, negative 4. In fact, you know what? Let's say the vector negative 2, 3, 
negative 4. Notice how I drew those red lines out. Negative 2 along the x, negative 2 along the x, folks, is going back to this way. Positive 3 along the y is moving right 3, and negative 4 going down 4. So those are the three main ones. And from this, we're going to draw our box. So we need to go complete our, so one more time, we need to complete the front box, which is the box is made with the z and the y axis. Okay. Then we also make the box that makes it with the, that will be made with the X and the Z axis. And then we have the side one, which is right here. The side one that's over here is made with the, if you look carefully, it's made with the down and the back, so down and back means the X and Z axis. And this one over here is made with the, again, back and down as well. Now, this one over here is also made with the right. So you move right, down, back. And to find the vector, you would draw the vector from the zero, zero out to that point in the other end of the box. And these are all the different coordinates of the box. So these are the points, the coordinates of all the points in the box. How do we know which ones they are? Think about how you travel from 0, 0 to get to that point. To get here, we only move back 2. So it's negative 2, 0, 0. And then from here, we move to this point which is along the y only, which is going to give you 0, 3, 0. We need to, to go from here to here. To this blue point, we need to move two steps. So we're moving negative 2, positive 3, and that's it, 0. Now to get to, for example, this point down here, that will be 0, 0, negative 4. This point down here moves down 4, and then we move back 2. To do that, that will give you the coordinates negative 2, 0, negative 4. And then we're looking at this point. This point is moving, for example, from the origin, down 4, so that your negative 4 is on the z, and right 3, and right 3 means that this will be 0, 3, negative 4. And finally, this one over here takes all three coordinates to get there, and that's negative 2, 3, negative 4. All right, we're running out of time. Let's go watch the next video to see another example.